Good morning, my beautiful ladies. I am so excited. We are going to get Wet n Wild today. I have never used any product of Wet n Wild. Never. I just assumed it was just a kid's makeup. They've been around since 1979 and they are just evolving. So I'm very excited to bring this to you. Alrighty. I got... I have to put my glasses on. I'm sorry. Alright. Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum Base Serum. Hydrate, hydrate. Okay. I got two of their makeups. Wet n Wild's uh, Photo Focus Foundation Fond de Tint. One in buff beige and one in soft beige. Buff beige and soft beige. You know what I mean. Anyway, they're so close, it's, it's going to be hit or miss. Then, oh, walking on eggshells. Pretty, pretty, huh? bronzer. If I can open it, ladies, they make it almost impossible. This is in Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Palm Beach. Ready. <laughs> Beautiful. Baby Got Blush. Look, it's a liquid, but it just looks so pretty. So I'm going to try that. And then Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Stick is High Shine Brilliance in Made for Mauve. See. Okay, and then I got a, a less expense. I think this was two bucks and this was two fifty. I don't know. I'll have to get out my receipt. I got it all on Amazon. See how pretty that color is. All right. Then I got Gel Lip Liner Crown in Lay Down the Mauves. Yeah, I'm really into mauves. You know, just seems to best fit my face. Then I got the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss in Low Key Pink. Oh, my glasses. The only thing I forgot was mascara. So I am going to use what I got in my Ipsy, this tart, tartlet, 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 this tartlet, tartlet mascara. So we're going to try that. So I think I have it all. Alrighty, let's get started. What I'm going to start with is their primer. I'm going to put ooh, a good drops. Woo! It's a little loose. Okay. Well, it smells lovely. For those that don't like fragrance, you might not like this. Maybe they have a fragrance free. Here. Okay. It's kind of got a real thin consistency. It's consistency. It doesn't really feel like um, the satiny ones. Uh, it's not bad. And then I'm going to take my NYX for my eyelids. All right. Just do a little bit. Mm. Are you guys ready for Christmas? <laughs> I haven't even got decorations up. It just seems like the holidays just roll on top of each other. All righty. That looks good. So then I'm going to take my little pal de joie. So it lasts. Oh All right. Let's keep it from setting in the line, shall we? It's very important. This will help your eyelids. Your eyelids. It will help your eyelids stay on. It will help your eye makeup stay on. Gosh, I don't know, ladies. Oh, let's try the bisque first. Okay, I think it's close. Now this is um, very, what do you call it? It's not real thick, but it's not, you know, super liquidy. And I'm not um, putting, I didn't put on any concealer underneath. That is, that is very nice, very sheer. Just keep shaking. Lord knows how long they've set on the shelves. Okay, so I gotta get down here. Okay, woo! Getting hair, I think my hair's falling out. <laughs> I'm shedding, because it's winter. I am gonna come back tonight and show you how it wore. Give it at least six to eight hours. Yar. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows first. We're gonna do the new little brow pencil by Wet n Wild. All right, here we go. I like to brush it up. I don't know if you saw my video before. Brush it up so you can find 
the bottom of your brows. And then brush it down to go up. This is what I do, following my tat, and then go over just at the top. I don't know, this seems kind of, uh, I can't even give the word. It's, it seems more, more ash. <laughs> all right, I, it could be all in my head. I'm going to take my NYX in ash brown and go on this side. Brush up. This is more brown than ash. Yeah, I think the um, ash brown in the wet and wild, it, it goes on nice. Yeah. I like the NYX better in the color match. Okay, the Wet n Wild palette in Walking on Eggshells. So, I gotta get my brushes for that. For my lid color, I'm gonna take this like pinky color, okay? I don't know what they're like. And I'm gonna put it on my lid. Oh, it's, oh, it's a shimmer. Oh, they're shimmery, okay. I'm gonna go for it. Just try to stay right here on this area. I can't wait to learn more ways to apply eyeshadow in different styles. Okay, now this this is a shimmery, but it's not, you know, it's not full of glitter. It's just a shimmer. Okay, I'm going this brown for my crease. I'm gonna use this little crease brush. Go in that brown, and then I'm going to windshield wiper right above. Look straight ahead. Look at how my eye still droops. I'm gonna work on that, ladies. So, look straight ahead. <laughs> when I look straight ahead, my um, my crease disappears, so gotta go up a little higher. Now for the corner, I am gonna go in with the deep brown, lady. I'm going in with the deep brown. <gasps> I'm gonna take this little guy. All of these are my Jessup brushes. Make sure it's not, oh, it's very pigmented. Try it on your hand first. And then I'm gonna go in right on the top So these are dark. You know, I just, there's, it's so much fun trying new stuff. Oh my goodness. Tiny corner softly. I'm gonna have a lot of bark, bark. I'm gonna have a lot of bark spots on my hand. Mm -hmm. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, no use being in a hurry, ladies. Life is short. Take your time. <laughs> That's not an oxymoron. I mean, take the time with the things that you love the most, okay? All right. Simple. I am going to take this little tiny wedge shaped and I'm going to dip into the white. And first, I'm going to do up here. Yeah. I don't think this is shimmer. Tight line it. Okay. And then I am. Ooh, these are lovely, you guys. Wet and Wild has it. I mean, we'll find out with the stain power. Okay. Little fluffy, kind of a little fluff, fluff McGruff. And I'm going to dip it in the white or the cream. And I'm just going to go in here. I love this eyeshadow look the way I do it. It just is been amazing for me okay and you've got to find what's amazing for you but I'm finding out ladies you do not have to spend millions of dollars original lid color and I'm gonna blend it in yeah you just you find what works for you that's why I want to find uh, different eyeshadow techniques I've seen one that's called a halo I really want to try hope in my eye that it will work for any eye 
And I don't need, I think I'm gonna take my finger in that little pink shimmer, because I don't need an extra, and just put it directly on top. Right, half and half, on the white and the original. Okay, I just love glimmer. Alrighty, now, Rimmel. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I always like to give myself a little tad of a wing. I'm gonna try this tartlet that I got in my Ipsy for mascara because I didn't, I thought I did, but that's what I get for thinking. All right, so let's try this little travel size. Travel, travel, travel. It's what I use with most of my Ipsy, except like this eye cream, I'm really liking it. It doesn't irritate my eyes, and my eyelids are so sensitive. All right. I'm gonna take a little of the NYX underneath to uh, fill in a little bit of darkness, my old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have a little brush here that will uh, tap in. Yeah, see the lighter? And then you just clean up the outer corners and tap. And I also like to take my little sponge here my damp sponge to kind of pull it taut, not real hard, just to just to do that. All right. This helps place at those deep set dark caverns of my eyes. The caverns of my eyes. Whoop. Yeah. Look at up close is frightening. <laughs> it's not as frightening as it used to be. Oh. Used to be whoo do wackadoo. Okay. And with the lighter concealer, you can go down your nose and down here just to give a little bit of, you know, exterior illumination. Exterior illumination is very important at our age. <laughs> And you can do this with highlighter, but I found uh, that just using the um, lighter on the central part of your face helps. Okay, now what do we have? All right, <gasps> Palm Beach, Palm Beach ready. All right, I'm gonna take my Left Left McGruff brush. You should see this disc. All right, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna shake off and I am gonna just kind of do a little bit of illumination. It's very pigmented, okay? Again, I have a very pigmented face. Maybe I'll just pat. I have a therapy. I don't mean I have a pigmented face, come on. My face just sucks up makeup. Let's go up. Let's go up to your forehead. Oh, there. All right, then I'm going to go down here. It is pretty color. I'm ready for the beach. As if I went to Hawaii right now, because it's 27 this morning. It was 27 when I went out to walk rocket. What the? Well, it's not, oh, it's just baby gut blush. Just a little bit. I'm going to do the fingers. Oh, my gosh. What a pretty color. Just like you got some... Blushness. All right. Then, so let's try this one. Just to help blend it. You can just blend it in with your fingers. Oh, this is lovely, you guys. Oh, yar. Isn't that pretty? Just a light, 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 brilliant light. And I didn't get a highlighter. But I am going to use my wet, my wet and wild. I'm going to take that little pink that I had before here, and I'm going to take a little, my little highlighter brush, which I just love, and I'm going to dip it in that. And we're going to try right here. Ooh, look at that. 
Who needs to buy a highlighter? Just go in the places you want to highlight. It's very subtle. And I can do little on the nose, little ear. Okay. Now, I got several lipsticks I showed you. Oh, a lot of little lipsticks. Let's make sure I have them all in a row. And I, you could use that blush on your lips too. Very light. I'm gonna go with this says, I think, Mad for Mauve. And I'm gonna take the lip liner in Mauve, and here we go. I wanna make sure that my makeup is over like that. It just makes it easier. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. I'll go with the Cupid, Cupid's bow. Okay. I like the color. Now here, a little bit outside the box. Got to quit talking. <laughs> Never used their liner before. I really love the color. A little dry, but that's pretty. And then I will take this color and we'll dry it over top. It's a glittery. Oh, feels really good, guys. That is really pretty. I'll let you know about the other lipstick, too. Now I am going to take my powder and just set my T-zone. You guys have those days. We put something right in front of you, and then it's gone. So I'm just going to powder right here. I don't need it everywhere. All right, ladies. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like I have nothing on. I like the eyeshadow. I don't care for the eyebrow. The one that's kind of gray like this kind of matches my hair. I'm impressed. I'm praying really hard that Wet n Wild will hold up through thick and thin because this is the way to go if you can. Okay, enough jibber jabber. I will be back in at least six hours and we're going to check this baby out. Okay, my ladies, here we are. It's 7.46 p.m. I've had it on since 11, so almost nine hours. I think it looks great. I've had to apply around my mouth and put my lipstick back on from eating, but I think it looks great. And you know, there's not a lot of makeups that I have issues with lasting, or maybe I don't notice it. You tell me. How did the eyebrows wear? <laughs> Good night, my friends. Lala is out.